By default, all tabs and components in our apps are visible to all users but we can use conditions to hide or show them in different situations or to display different types of data. We're gonna cover an introduction to conditions, a look at operators, scope or context, and working with multiple conditions. Let's look at a simple condition. Show items where name is not empty. There are three parts to this condition, the effect, the value that has to satisfy the condition, and the operator. The effect is to hide or show items. The value that has to satisfy the condition is currently set to the name column. That's where the condition will look. And the last part, the operator, is the logical part of the phrase which completes the condition. In this case, if the name is not empty, then the condition is met and the effect is applied. This condition is used in the filter settings for lists in Glide. The condition will check every item in the list and show only items that meet that condition. Conditions can also contain other values. For example, show items where status is approved. There are now four parts in this condition. The effect, which is still a filter. The value that has to satisfy the condition. This is now looking at the values in the status column the operator, and the second value, which is a custom value of approved. The condition will look in the status column for this custom value, and it will show all items where it finds it. Depending on the kind of result that we want, we can design the four parts of our condition differently. The effect of the condition is determined by where the condition is set in Glide. For example, we add filter conditions on lists, and visibility conditions on components and tabs. Inside the condition though, we can change the column with values in that needs to satisfy the condition. We can change the operator, and we can change the value that we are checking for. This can be a custom value that we enter in Glide, or it can be a value from a number of other contexts. Conditions will have different operator types depending on the type of values in those conditions. For example, if we're using text values, we'll be able to use operators like this. If we're using numbers, we'll see operators like this. And if we're using dates, we'll see operators like this. So far, we've looked at conditions that use values from a column in the list we're filtering and a custom value we enter in the condition in Glide. For example, show items where the value done is not true or show items where the profit is less than zero. But conditions can contain values from other contexts. For example, we'll create another filter condition but on the details screen inside of an item. When we click on the menu, we can now choose values from the current item, as well as the current user profile row and the containing screen. The current user profile row gives the condition access to all of the properties of the currently signed in user, as defined in the user profiles sheet. The containing screen context gives us access to the properties of the containing screen that an inline list is within. A lot of power comes from being able to combine these different contexts in a single condition. For example, using the current user profile context, we can create conditions like show tab where the admin column is set to true. This will allow us to show tabs only to users who have the value of true in their admin column. Show component where user score is greater than 10. Or show items where interest is the user's interest. Using the containing screen context, we can create conditions like show items where category is the same as category to show a list of items that relate to this one or show items where price is equal to price to show a list of items which have the same price as the current item. Obviously, in these conditions, the same item is brought back again. So to prevent this, we can add a second condition which excludes the current item. This second condition would be and show items where item is not the current item. 
This is an example of a multiple condition, where we have two conditions stacked on top of each other. You can stack conditions with the words AND or OR. Another example would be show items where score is higher than 10 and where status is approved. This condition will look at all the items and only show the ones where both conditions are met. If we use OR as the connector between conditions, then the filter will show all items that meet one or both of these conditions.